pre-concert rituals, I will always play long notes just to make the flute resonate, just to get my breathing going, and then I'll, I'll get things a little bit quicker so my fingers start going. But the important thing is just to get everything feeling loose and free and, and able to just respond quickly. Well, these drums take quite a lot of maintenance uh, before and after a concert, so I'm usually at the drums quite early, um, tuning them up and doing things, getting myself ready. So I guess my ritual is just to go through uh, maybe even a checklist of all the things I need to get ready before the show, uh, all my sticks out uh, for me in particular. So yeah, just going through in my head all the things that I have to do as part of the show. Um, I like to have a light meal and a little nap before a performance just to um, refresh my brain. Get it ready for focusing. Yeah. Uh, usually these days, it, it, it takes a good half hour warm up. So you, you do your sort of your basic uh, long tones and lip slurs and tonguing warm ups and that sort of thing, so that you feel super good when you when you start at the downbeat of the concert. Well, I guess the most obvious thing would be, first you have to practice your individual part, uh, practice any difficult passages you might find, um, and that's probably only about 20% of the work, and after that, um, but 80% of the rest is finding out what everyone else does in their parts. So quite often I use the orchestral score, the conductor's score, to go through and look how my part matches up with everyone else's. And that's kind of the most important part about playing in an orchestra, I think, is the dialogue between everyone else. Get nervous? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think there's... You can sort of become accustomed to how the nerves feel and try and just live with the way that is. But you do get nervous. So I think it just gives that an extra little adrenaline rush too that just keeps your concentration going. But you try not to let the nerves interfere with the playing. So, in other words, have constructive nerves, not destructive nerves. That's the important thing. Yeah. Yeah, well, if those that do get nervous, sometimes it, you sort of... Uh, you can get a bit of a quiver in your sound, or actually I, I have had sort of times when I've been standing for a concert or something and my knees start shaking and it's, it's quite hard to control because you don't want to lock your knees and feel all stiff, but yeah, I think just, just good breathing and that sort of thing can, can really help.